Hi, Jason R. Curry here with EXP Realty, talking to you today about selling your home yourself, uh, saving yourself a ton of money. Um, now, the big part of this is I wanna give you as many tips and tricks to get you the best deal you possibly can. Now, the key to this is this, uh, photos. First and foremost, photos are the most important thing in my opinion. Uh, your agent would be hiring a professional photographer that specializes in real estate. You want them to specialize in real estate because somebody who does headshots or weddings is not the same as somebody who knows homes, uh, knows which angles, how to use the lens correctly for getting the best view of the rooms. That's all very important stuff. So when you are going to market your home, I'm guessing you're gonna be putting it up online. And if you're gonna put it online, you need to have your best foot forward. People will get turned off by just one photo looking bad. You have a few seconds to grab somebody and you wanna make sure that you grab them correctly. Now, when they look through the house, the, the photos should be in some sort of order. So that way people understand the flow of the house. That would be very helpful for your potential buyers. I also recommend having your photographer do a video for you. And that could be you in the video talking about the house or you doing a voiceover or them doing a voiceover, uh, but doing some sort of video because videos on social media are viewed 10 times more than photos. So you want the best viewing, you want the best uh, foot forward again, video is a huge help. Now social media is its own little uh, grab bag of information you need to know. As a real estate agent, I own my own Facebook page. Uh, that allows me to pay all the social media, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all those fun things, to advertise for me. And I pay them and I set it up and I boost it out to the public to try to get as many buyers to look at that house as possible. Part of the, uh, You could do the same thing by creating a Facebook business page just for your house. And what's nice about that is now that's just for your house and now you could start paying Facebook and Instagram and whatnot to start boosting it out there and getting in front of your potential buyers. You do that and now you're already light years ahead of most people. If you get that video, I'd also put it on YouTube, create a YouTube page and use hashtags to give your house the best SEO. SEO is search engine optimization. Basically, you want to make it so if somebody's searching in your town that your house is a higher level of optimization and more likely to be seen. So those are the basics right there of the most important things, in my opinion. After that, there are a lot of other things you could do. I do recommend mailers to the neighborhood. Let your neighbors know that you are looking to move. Neighbors like to choose each other's, uh, their own neighbors. So their friends, family, whatnot, that they want to live close, they're going to let them know. That's a very nice tool. Um, also, when you are advertising, don't turn away clients that have realtors. And now I know this is a frustrating thing because I know a lot of people don't wanna pay the realtor at all, but most buyers are already working with an agent and that agent is there to protect them and to look out for their best interest. Well, they still have to get paid. And what happens is if the owner is not willing to pay the agent out of the uh, their commission out of the sale price the buyer has to pay and that's fine if that's what you want to do but understand now that buyer cannot afford as much for your house and now it's directly coming out of their pocket too so that might even bump them down to even a lower bracket than if they had if they if you had just paid the agent directly um you're paying you know only theoretically half the commission now because you still saved on your listing side, but I wouldn't turn away those agents and I wouldn't make it more difficult for those agents because they're the ones that are gonna get the job done. And realistically, they know the paperwork and they're gonna have to be doing more work. Um, so do that and make sure that you are inviting to those agents. Now, the last big tip I'm gonna give you, and this is gonna be very counterintuitive for most people, don't be there for showings. If you have an agent, if, a, if there's a buyer showing up with an agent, leave the door unlocked or better yet, put get a key lot, a box like an agent has, put it on the door and give the agent the code so that they could get in. When I've shown for sale by owners with my buyers, they almost always talk themselves out of the sale. What it is, is you, got, uh, you wanna sell the house so, so much that you're talking about all these amazing things you've done and whatnot. 
Well, the buyer's never getting a good feel for the house. It's they're they're getting your feel about how much you love the house and who you are, and they just they'll fall in love with you as a person, but they're gonna not like the house, not because the house stinks or isn't the way they want it. They just never got to enjoy the house as if seeing it for the first time. They're seeing it through you telling them what to see. Huge, huge mistake. And then it takes, you know, a lot longer and then the conversations. And most people just want to be in and out. They want to see it. They want to see if they love it. If they love it, they love it. They'll put an offer in. But don't talk yourself out of a sale. The buyer's agent knows what they're doing. They're going to be there and they're going to try to sell it. Granted, they're not looking to sell just your house. They're looking to sell a house to that client but they're not looking to just destroy your house either. That would be your best option. I hope this helps you. I hope this is helpful in general. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, my phone number is 203-910-7602. Don't be shy. I'm here to help.